Hi, I'm James from MacDev, and today we're going to do a maintenance video on the Drone 2 and Clone 5 regulator. We're going to need Allen keys, militia lube, crescent wrench, and paper towel. Both these guns have exactly the same regulator, so I'm just going to pull them out to show you how they look exactly the same. First off, we're going to take the grip off the gun. So face the gun up so the OLED screen or the black window on the Drone 2 is facing up. And take your wraparound grip off to remove the screws. Once you have the wraparound grip off, you can lift the gun up, just fold the grip around so it's out of the way. will give you access to the battery. We want to take the battery out so it's not flopping around while we're taking the regulator out. So unplug it from the battery clip. Now we're going to take our big Allen key in the set and take the regulator out. Always use the short side first and then go to the long side. Unscrew it and then grab the regulator body and slide it out. If the piston and the spring stays in there, you can push the Allen key in gently into the piston and slowly bring it out. This is how the assembly looks. you notice that both these regulators are the same. So this one is over lubed, this one is correct. So we're going to clean all this excess lube off. So we're going to need a paper towel and get in there and wipe it all out. I'm going to take the piston and just wipe off all the excess old lube. Once this is clean, next is the bottom works. Unless there is a leak coming out of this, we don't need to pull it apart. To split the bottom work assembly apart, we're going to need a crescent wrench and the large Allen key. So we're going to crescent wrench. Tighten it onto the top on the flats. Take a big Allen key and split it in half. Unscrew your top. You can take off your filter, give it a clean, slide it back on when you're done so it doesn't get crushed. And also exposes the seat where the piston face seals. So the, the seat should have a round witness mark where the piston seals. If that mark is broken or too deep, you should replace that seat. The seat has two sides, so you can flip it over. You can push it out by sticking a small Allen key underneath, pushing it out. Inside the adjuster is a very small O-ring, and if you get a leak at the end of the adjuster, this O-ring needs to be changed. Put the seat back in. You have two sides, so it's swappable. You can just push it in and press it down hard. It should take up on the O ring. Screw your cap back on. The crescent wrench. And tighten it together. Next we're going to check the piston. Take our 1 8 Allen key and place it into the piston and slide it into the body. We want to make sure that this piston has some kind of resistance on the o-ring. If you don't feel any resistance, you need to change that. I'm going to lube up the piston. Take a little bit of lube. And your finger. Spin the piston around, fill up the o-ring gaps. Lift the very tip, the spring on, put it together. Once you've done this, then you can put the back into the gun. Slide it in, and screw it down. Make sure that it's tightened down. It doesn't have to be super tight, just firm enough so that when you adjust the regulator, this bottom works assembly doesn't move.
And there you have it.